So brush your teeth and floss with me. There's so much to learn and see. So come along and smile with me. It's the Kimmy to Tutor Show. That's me. Hello, it's Kimmy the Tooth Tutor. I'm here today with my friend Elvis. Hello. And we are here to read about flossing teeth. And then I have a fun game afterwards also. So this is Flossing Teeth by Mari Shu. There's another two books like this. One is about brushing and one is about nutrition. Our healthy foods. My floss. Anna flosses her teeth once every day. Floss cleans where toothbrushes can't reach. Flossing gets rid of food and plaque stuck to your teeth. Plaque causes cavities. See? fun way to floss that I'll show you in a minute. Dental floss is a thin piece of string. Floss comes in many flavors and colors. There, there's bubble gum and mint and plain. Flossing, Anna pulls out floss about the length of her arm. She wraps it loosely around her fingers. I will show you that in just a minute. Anna gently glides the minty floss between two teeth. She moves it up and down and back and forth. Anna flosses in a pattern. She makes sure to get between all her teeth. Anna uses a new section of floss for each tooth. That's how you do it when you use traditional floss, a regular floss. I'll show you those two different ways. Anna tries a flossing tool, it makes flossing easier for her. So she's using what we call a flosser there, right? It does make it easier for sure. And I always have them for you if you need any. Anna rinses her mouth after flossing. She throws away the used floss and she's done. Healthy teeth. Flossing your teeth will help you have a healthy smile too. So a pattern, just like when we talk about brushing, um, I always say you should start in a corner and work your way around the circle. So flossing is the same kind of thing. And we have two different things. We have a flosser, like she was using, and then also we have regular floss. So with floss, the um, directions, for floss or to grab 18 inches of floss. I have never actually measured floss before. You just kind of guess that as long as your arm thing can work, right? And then what you do is you wrap a little bit around one finger on one hand and then a little on the other finger. So you have a clean side and a dirty side. So most of the floss is on my left hand. And then you hold it like this. You hold it between your fingers. So there is a very similar piece of floss that's controlled, just like a flosser, right? And when you go, I'm going to floss Elvis's teeth. When you go between his teeth, there you go. When you go between his teeth, you pull it against the side of one, like the letter C and you go up and down, and then you do the same thing going the other direction, and you go up and down. And um, as the floss gets dirty, you can put more around the dirty side and take some more off the clean, of the clean side. Um, but most of us use flossers, because it's much easier, especially for kids to floss with flossers. So you put it between your teeth, and then you do the same thing, pull it against one side, one tooth, because we're cleaning the sides of our teeth, right? Not the space in the middle. So, and then you floss it against the other tooth, and then you're done. If it gets super yucky, you can rinse it off or wipe it off your finger. Um, the flossing activity that I usually do in classrooms is I have a mega block and a piece of yarn and Play-Doh. So that might be something that you have at home. Um, 
my three-year-old nephew's been playing with his Play-Doh, so I'm not sure of its condition <laughs> currently. It does appear to be one color though, which is pretty impressive. Um, okay, so we can pretend this is the sugar bugs, right? And we can put it between our teeth. These are gonna be our teeth. So if we wanna floss that, remember what I told you about the floss wrapping around your fingers and holding it with a little space. You can go up and down against one tooth and then go over and go up and down against the other tooth and then you pop the sugar bugs out, okay? I hope you enjoyed flossing and that you will maybe be able to do that at home. If you need any flossers, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you with that because I have lots of them. So for our activity today, we have mini marshmallows. A dice, a die from a game, a dice die, and then this. So this is just a sort of a rectangular piece of paper just with the edges um, cut off so they're rounded. And then we have 10 circles on this side and 10 on this side. So for this game, you can compete against somebody and try to fill your side of the mouth first. Um, this is pretending to be a mouth. And so um, I can play against Elvis, right? So I'm going to do this side and Elvis can do this side. Three, so I have one, two, three. I have three mini marshmallows. I'll roll from him for him because he doesn't have real hands, right? But he got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's totally winning right now. Oops, I can't see. Oh, I got a two. So there are 20, there are 20 little um, circles because there is 20 teeth in most of our mouths. So I got a two, he's beating me. Oh, he won. He got a five. So that's one, two, three, four, then five. He won. Good job, sir. Good job. <laughs> we hope that you have a wonderful week and um, that you're feeling great and able to enjoy, enjoy the outside a little bit. Take care. Bye. Bye.